YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, back in Total War Rome 2, and we're going to continue the Carthage campaign. I was sieging Nicomedia, but I pulled back off of it just because uh, there was probably a few too many Pergamines there, and we were taking some attrition. But we will we will take that uh, vicinity. What am I missing here in terms of infantry? It'd be nice. To oh, Romphia warriors? Don't mind if I yoink. Local Thracian Elite Infantry. What is that? 32, 72, 24, 19? Huh. That's not bad. But these uh, Thrum Rumphia Warriors, much higher attack, a lot less defense, much better charge bonus, much better weapon damage, a lot lower armor. So it's a shock unit, which is pretty cool. Galothracians. Okay, these are the crazy, insane Peltist. But I'm certainly not trading crossbows for those guys. But let's uh, let's throw let's throw a Thracian elite infantry in here. I think it it fits that a little better. But uh, if we want to, we can pick up some Romphia warriors in, a, in another army if we really feel the need to. I don't know that we have any army that particularly needs them. This one may. Recruit. I cannot recruit. You've recruited the max. Oh, so we have the maximum number. Um, I might get rid of some of these Massili or no, let's get rid of these Gallic Cell Swords. They're crap. Let's disband these guys. And let's uh, put some Romphia Warriors in here. Yeah! There we go. That'll be a fun way to get some more mercenaries, which we need. So, victory objectives, let's just see what all we need to do to finish the campaign. I'm working on it. Um, control 50 port settlements, which we are pretty close to doing. If we take Nicomedia, Olbia, and then this couple of provinces over here at the Bosphorus will have it, so it will not be a problem. Plus, we're about to take CDA and others, so we will meet that requirement very soon. Syria, I'm going to wait till last to take the city from the Parthians so that there's nothing they can do to really fight a good war against me. Uh, Bosphorus is actually right here. You all pointed that out to me. I was looking at the wrong one. It's right, right there. So we will be up there soon to take control of it. In fact, I'm probably... We'll see. I'm probably going to get that fleet to come up here and pick up that army. This fleet right here. Yeah, we'll let them do the recruiting and then I want to get them on this ship or we can take this army on that ship. Yeah, these guys are ready to cast off. I don't know, the resupply cheap. Yeah, they're resupplying. So let's let them resupply for a turn. Uh, we are close to being able to cast off though. Let's see, so we have a temple on the way, we need the Odeon, and uh, let's go with... We'll go ahead and build a muster field, I don't know how much we're really going to need it there. I'm going to run through my provinces real quick just to make sure I'm not going to get any patchy factories, otherwise I'm not concerned. Or let's see where we start. We started at Magna Grecia. Only looking for patchy factories. Wait, didn't miss one. Okay. Good, good, good. Good. Swabia. Yeah, we were about to patchy factory up out here. Almost got us, Swabia. Okay, we're good. So we should be ready to end the turn. I'll check if there's any armies that need to be moved here in a moment. If there is, we'll take care of that. And um, let's see, this army has the upgrade, which is going to be the general, which is Hamilcar Barca here. Make his cavalry stronger. And then the missile units, we can make them stronger too. That'll be fun. And we got the Heralds of the 104, which is being retrained after its defeat out on Cyprus. The general. Let's give him Ferocious Warrior and Rightful Sovereign. Okay. Uh, so that army is retraining. We've got the port still blockaded here. and I honestly think that my Marines are capable of defeating the port here. There's quite a few garrison units, but I mean, I've got Slingers and my Marines are pretty good infantry units. Probably just wait till I have support. Part of it would be fun though to just land all these marines and see if we can take these guys. I think we can. Let's do it. We're gonna fight it. 
Plus, this gives us another port city. Yeah, and then we'll go pick up the one army with that fleet we have there. We'll sail straight over to the Bosphorus and attack it directly. And we should be pretty much up to victory conditions. We may have to hire a few more mercenaries, but that's not difficult at all. And we may need some more naval units, too. I need to check that one as well. May just need to recruit up a navy somewhere. And we'll be at victory condition. It's been a fun campaign. Gained a lot of grounds. We've, we've almost kind of, not entirely, but kind of recreated the boundaries of the Roman Empire in some ways. As Carthage, which is kind of fun. Not exactly, but we've we've done it to some extent. Just get all these units ready to land supply ship. We're going to keep it safe behind everything else because we do not want it to get killed. And I'm going to go off fire at will with all these guys. Need to land all the support ships. I can't remember if the boats get up and leave on Rome 2 or not. If they don't, we're going to have to take these guys all the way over to the other side of the map to disembark. That may just have been something that they added in Attila, I can't remember. Let's fast forward and see. Regardless, we need to get all of our infantry unloaded here. We've got quite a few infantry. Yeah, I don't... I think the boats shoving off is just something that happens in Attila. It is. So it is not going to happen on here, which means that I do not have anywhere to unload my slingers anywhere near the battle, which means that they have to be unloaded all the way on the other side of the map. Yeah, all the way over here is where they have to be unloaded. So that's going to take some considerable fast-forwarding. Until then, let's get our Carthaginian Marines ready for combat. But we'll bring the Slingers in. As long as they don't get attacked by cavalry, they'll be fine. And there is cavalry. I don't know that there's a ton of it. We can go ahead and use this time to maybe send some Marines uh, to different points around the city. to assault from multiple positions. I can't remember if this is the huge unit sizes or not. My general can't use his abilities on land. That's absolutely stupid because neither of those abilities does anything while on water. Nice another little glitch that the Creative Assembly never dealt with. This is almost kind of typical behavior with the Total War games recently, unfortunately. I'm going to go ahead and start moving some of these units into the city. And I just want to stay outside of any skirmisher range over here. What is on the town center? Yeah, this this is the larger unit sizes. So my marines are going to be outnumbered by certain certain units. So this this could be dangerous for me. I don't think so because I think a lot of these units will be overmatched. And if we use our slingers to good advantage, we should be in good shape. But it's going to take me forever to just get my slingers over here. I have to leave it and fast forward for quite some time. Uh, we have a unit under fire here, actually. This is bad. We will not have cavalry support, so that could be a problem. Those marine archers were getting a few kills on me. Let's go ahead and go back into fast forward. Yeah, the marine archers are going to keep pushing on me. So I'm going to have to pull out of here. I can't catch them either, so this is just going to be downright irritating. I'm going to have to push up on the marine archers. I'm going to go ahead and start pushing these guys through the streets again. 
I don't know how much damage the marine archers will do, but it's irritating. Alright, now we have all these Balearic Slingers. I say all these Balearic Slingers. Uh, they're not as big as a normal unit, but they have 200 range and ought to be a fairly deadly skirmisher unit. Let's pick the right targets here. Greek Marines. So the Greek Marines are going to be the toughest infantry that's over here. Let's pick away at them, and then we want to pick... Well, I'm not even worried about the Garrison Hoplites, really. Let's take out the local archers. Oh, crap. Uh, we're actually into a fight over here, and I probably really didn't want to be in this fight just yet, because we could attract a lot more attention than we want. Yeah, we're already getting shot at by other skirmishers. These guys did not take the path that I wanted them to through here. Okay, we're easily destroying the local archers. I'm actually just thinking I'm going to go ahead and attack here with my Carthaginian Marines. And we'll use the Balearic Slingers to go ahead and let's soften up that Greek Marine real quick. I've got units headed around the flank over here. Let's go ahead and bring the units into position here. One Carthaginian Marine can stay here. Push the other here. We're hitting these uh, Greek Marines in the back with their Balearic Slingers, so it's going to be extremely effective. I'm going to spread out my Carthaginian Marines to get a good effective formation. Okay, we've pushed the Greek Marines back with heavy losses. And the AI is blobbing up against me now. You can cease fire slingers. Actually, slingers, you can open fire against the companion cavalry. Uh, get a charge there. I'm going to try and stay behind this building for a little bit of cover for now. Let's keep these units moving up and around our enemies here. The companion cavalry is being targeted by my slingers. We are pushing them back with pretty heavy losses, but they are piling in the seal, uh, Silver Shield Swordsmen. Let's try and take a flank position with their Slingers to hit all these units. Our Marines are doing okay so far, but like this unit actually is going to get an attack in the rear penalty now. That cavalry is trying to get my Slingers. Let's hope to goodness we can stop it. I can, but this Carthaginian Marine might want to route because of the attack in the rear penalty. Because of it getting a little bit ahead of itself in combat. My general needs to go do something useful. Because right now he is not. Okay. These units need to go do something useful as well. Greek Marines, Greek Marines. We're going to attack the Greek Marines in the back to block, uh, break that fight up. And we're going to push the town center with the other unit. And the Balearic Slingers can start hitting some of these units in the flank. I hope to goodness that this Carthaginian Marine maintains its composure because it's wavering. There it goes. Now my Balearic Slingers are getting great shots into the flank of this blob. And that actually ought to start turning that fight. We can get this Carthaginian Marine. Yeah, we're going to push the town center with Marines. And then over here we've wrapped up the uh, Greek Marines with the rear charge. Creek Marines are actually really cool looking Enemy units. All these Marines are cool looking units. Enemy General's dead. I'm pretty sure this battle just turned in our favor. If it was not already heavily in our favor, which I believe it was. Silver Shield Pikemen target them. My General's coming over for supports. Carthaginian Marines are holding their own against the Garrison Hoplites as expected. Yeah, the Balearic Slingers are becoming very helpful at this point. If we can tear down that Silver Shield Pikeman, that would be fantastic. If this Hoplite breaks, then I can start an outflanking move too. Let's bring my General up. His presence here will be helpful. Yeah, look at the, uh, the fire coming in from the Balearic Slingers. It's slowly taking a toll on the Silver Shield Pikeman. They, they are a good pike unit getting shot a little bit with our general. We're going to come through here. 
Let's actually pull these Balearic Slingers over to push back those local archers. And we're going to bring our general around to get in behind all these units and outflank them. We've got the same thing available now with all these other units. And we're just going to bring our Carthaginian general into the back of these Silver Shield Pikes. So yep, our Carthaginian Marines fighting valiantly here. Doing a good job of manning their ships and then coming ashore and defeating the enemy in a decisive fashion. Look at the nice red pikes on those server shields. That is cool looking. Yeah, those units are awesome. But they are outflanked, and I do expect that their morale will not hold. And we are going to pour in with all the rest of our marines as well. The local archers are dying to the Balearic Slingers. And we can go ahead and finish capturing the town center. The, rest, uh, the last of the Seleucan forces are holed out here. Look at their pikes. Some of them are actually fighting in two directions. The AI can control its pikes better than a person can. It's pretty funny. I'm going to end the battle. So that was a successful naval invasion by a long shot. Um, the enemy was not able to get hardly any kills with their units. The Balearic Slingers there are very decisive. Racking up a large number of kills. The Marines are solid infantry there, and there's enough of them on each ship that they're worthwhile. They're a little bit smaller than a standard unit, so had this been a lot more mainline infantry and less garrison infantry, then this might have been a little bit riskier. But versus the garrison infantry and the depleted mainlines, they did pretty well. So nothing to worry about there, and the, the companion cavalry was not able to be decisive either because the slingers tore it apart. So... Pericles' pride gets destroyed by the protectors of the colonies. We're going to occupy Salamis. So, successful naval, naval occupation there. Alright. Got the docks. And again, if we go into the objectives here, yeah, we got, got us another, another step towards it. We are close to taking sea day, though this army needs to retrain a little. We were coming down here to ensure that the um, the Saba do not successfully attack me. We probably need another army, which I'm raising this one here, and it can make sure that we don't get attacked here by anything. And then I've got an army in Asia Minor up here as well that has successfully captured uh, Ephesos. It looks like we need another unit in this army. Let's see if we have anything worthy. Phrygian spearmen. Cretan archers, which are cool, don't get me wrong. Greek pikemen probably won't be of a huge value to me. Let's just grab the mercenary Libby Phoenician hoplites, and we can have them kind of join in with the sacred band. Albeit definitely not a sacred band unit, but... Yeah, these guys were taken on supplies. Uh, let's see about the Kimbri. Looks like we've captured Alibu, which is good. Is this fleet ready to cast off? Fleet is ready to take off. So we will sail this fleet. Or no, 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 no. Don't, don't even think about it. Come out of here. No. <laughs> Alibu is a port city, right? Yeah, there you go. Sail around and attack us. So let's see. We've got... Eight turns of supplies, so one, two, three, four, should be five. Yeah, we have enough We have enough supplies to get that ship to where it needs to go. This army can land here and disembark. So let's take the army view and march these guys on inland. And we'll get ready to head off the uh, King Brie if they want to make any moves at me there. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Uh, we have one character that needs a skill increase. That would be the protectors of the colonies for their actions just taken in battle. Military logistician, nothing there for fleets. Skilled tactician, we'll see if there's anything under there for fleets. Seems like the uh, the admirals just kind of got the shaft when it came to uh, came to some of the abilities and stuff that they get. I don't know why the uh, start of the turn didn't take so long at this point. Pontus is going to do some raiding on me at Salamis, which is annoying. We're going to have to take them out. Oh, Pergamon, are you serious? Are you serious? 
Oh, this is gonna be a crossbow slaughter of unparalleled proportions. A lot of pikemen from Pergamon, so they got a grand phalanx, which is cool, but it doesn't have any cavalry support. They have Cretan archers, they have Rhodian slingers. These are some nice skirmishers that they have here. But uh, they are going to be cut down by the crossbows, and the pikes are gonna be met by, by, by my own pikes. And I just don't think they're gonna fare well here. Could be wrong, but I doubt it. Let's uh, go ahead and fight this on the battlefield. Yeah, pretty sure my crossbows are gonna make absolute mince meat of these guys. All right. Come on now. Fighting the Companions of Heracles with the Judge's Will, Battle of Byzantion, the shiny land from the rain. Let's see. I think all these units will not be in formation attack because it's rather pointless. Crossbows. I'm going to actually keep my Sacred Band in reserve kind of behind the pikes where it's most likely that my formation will get jacked up because I have plenty of cav uh, heavy cavalry to work the flanks. Put my general out here on one of the flanks as well. Crossbows. I will let them fire at will, actually. Yeah, so if my pikes get out of position, I'll use the sacred band to support them. Let's go ahead and start the battle. Okay, let's fast forward. Crossbows have opened fire. Let's actually... I don't even know if we need to focus fire. Probably wouldn't hurt, but I'm just going to let my crossbows rip away at the approaching infantry. Pike phalanx. Let's start tearing apart... Uh, Enemy skirmishers, so I'm going to go after the Cretan archers. We can... Oh, actually, stay back, stay back for a minute. Stay back. Let's move this cavalry up. All this infantry can start to close this flank, and then the cavalry can start to pull that flank up. Let's see if our crossbows, they're working their way through the Cretan archers. Their pikes are attacking mine. I'm gonna keep going after their Cretan archers. Getting attacked by a lot of Pergamon forces here. Uh, let's actually push up this flank. Is that, wait a minute, are they carrying spearmen? Are they throwing javelins at my general? They are not, fortunately. I'm gonna attack them move around this flank. Okay, we got rid of the Cretan archers. Target this, uh... You two target the Rhodian slinger, and you two target the archer here. Let's pull up this pikeman. Support them here. Let's, uh... Those Romphia warriors will probably get a very nice charge on me here. Let's get my cavalry around to support quickly. I don't know what I just did there. Okay, let's bring this cavalry around. Bring some sacred band up. We have destroyed the enemy skirmishers. We can now kind of pull our crossbows back a little bit. Start firing into the sides of those hoplites. You all can wrap that one up there. Yeah, I took a bit of a beating on the charge to the Romphia warriors, but... Should be able to destroy them with that charge. Keep this cavalry moving. Don't want to get caught by the levy pikes. Let's rear charge pikemen here. Let's see if the AI turns their pikes to get my cavalry. They are not. So their pikemen are just going to straight get rear charged by heavy cavalry. I do not think that's going to go well. 
Yeah, it is not. Sacred Band Cavalry is crushing those pikemen. Yeah, we just destroyed that pike center. I'm gonna give the, or no, that's a levy pike unit. We're not going to give them a charge. But we are gonna rear charge all these Phrygian Axemen over here. And then move forward with these infantry to intercept the other pike unit. And we're gonna rear charge this blob right here in the center. Our pikes and other infantry have succeeded over here with cavalry support. Uh, let's take our crossbows off fire at will. Nice rear charge here against pikes in the center. My own pikes held the line there very nicely. Destroyed the uh, Phrygian Axemen over here. And then our sacred band hoplites are getting into this pike unit. Battle's already swinging for us. Just, yeah, the uh, pike units are nice defensive units. They are not good um, offensive units. So, although they were strong, they're not really going to get the kills fast enough that the uh, Pergamines needed here. If they had support for all these pikes, it could have been handy, but they just do not. And all these rear charges from the cavalry are going to be too much to handle. This pikeman got beat by both my pikemen put together. That's kind of funny. Pergamine hoplites wavering. Pikes rear charged to death there. So, I mean, yeah, everything went very well for us in this battle. So, slaughter of the pergamines there. <laughs> Not completely unexpected. Oh, those crossbows. Look at that. They didn't even fire the whole battle and still just racked up so many kills. The cavalry, that sacred band general and the charge from the back there, just brutal. Didn't take hardly any losses and just crushing pergamine pikemen. And yeah, you can see their skirmishers. I don't know if they were returning fire, but they got slaughtered by the crossbows. And Cretan archers are not bad. And neither are the Rhodian slingers, obviously. So, but I mean, obviously they must not have been firing on my uh, skirmishers because they don't seem to have done much, if any, damage. So Pergamine's getting pushed back there with heavy losses, which ought to open Nicomedia to a defeat, which we need. The Cambry still won a peace treaty, but I'm not going to give it to him because of their idiotic betrayals. I don't know if that's a fleet of the Cambry. If it is, that could be that could be trouble. All right, turn should be ending here for us. There we go. Got some research complete on concrete. Alpine passes blocked. Let's get. I don't know. Just stick that on the end and let it research away. I don't know that I need anything in particular. Leaving an army up here just in case. This fleet ought to be ready to take off. It is. We're going to put this army on board. And we take attrition for sailing just out here in the center, but uh, we should be able to get over here in a few turns. And we will come down here to take over the Bosporus. We will leave this army actually down here, and we might come pick it up as well. I, if actually, if I need more fleet, I could go ahead and start training a few more ships just to carry them across. Yeah, we need, we do need more fleet units. That's going to be annoying that they're just sitting here raiding on me. Let's build another temple there. We just need to capture Sea Day, and we actually have this whole province as well. This army is mostly new trained, and we have good chances for an auto resolve here at Sea Day, so let's just take care of that. Gonna occupy. So we now control the whole province of Cilicia. Let's tear that down. I don't think I need that either. And I think I'm gonna swap this one over to the trading port. So, yeah. Um, Anything else important? I mean, we could go up here and we could attack this faction. But we don't really need Ponto Caspia. We, we need the Bosphorus. So I'm not sure that I am going to attack that faction at the moment. 
These guys retrained enough that I might be able to... Yep, we can auto-resolve an easy victory at Nicomedia. So the Pergamines defeated again. I think Pergamon is their last remaining settlement at this point. We're going to convert that, trash that. Yeah, so Pergamon is their last remaining settlement. And we can probably hit it with our army that's here at Ephesus. believe we can. We are not at war with the Rhodians as of yet, so I'll leave them alone. Ooh, large Sardes army here too. This is a crossbow capable army too though. Um, let's see, I could fortify here. And if they attack me then I'll be able to destroy them. Anyway, that's all for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. Air of Carthage, signing off for now.